Meet Christopher Ray, Trump's pick for FBI director who will get grilled by the Senate today. Christopher A. Ray, whom Donald Trump picked to replace ousted James Comey as the FBI director, begins his confirmation hearings in the Senate on Wednesday morning. If the Senate confirms him, Ray would replace Comey, who was fired by Trump in May. He would also, if confirmed, oversee the investigation about Trump's connection to Russia while overseeing the country's highest intelligence branch. Ray, who attended Yale University for undergraduate and law school, was nominated by then-President George W. Bush to be the Assistant Attorney General in the Justice Department's Criminal Division. He served in that position from 2003 to 2005. It is possible that, during the hearing, the committee will ask Ray to affirm his position as an independent official and clarify whether he has ever expressed loyalty to Trump. Camille alleged the president asked him to pledge his loyalty, an accusation Trump has refuted. Chris looks for the way that creates the least drama, John Richter, an attorney who worked with Ray at his legal firm, told the Wall Street Journal. Ray began his career in public service by clerking for Judge J. Michael Luddick on the U.S. Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals in 1992. Ludwig's judicial philosophy was similar to that of Justice Antonin Scalia. Ray began his career in public service clerking for Judge J. Michael Ludwig on the U.S. Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals in 1992. Ludwig's judicial philosophy was similar to that of Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia. In 1993, Ray left the public sector and began working in private practice in Atlanta. Four years later, he joined the Justice Department once again to work in the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Georgia. In 2001, he began working for the main division of the Justice Department as an Associate Deputy Attorney General. He eventually became the Principal Associate Deputy Attorney General. In 2004, Ray was among the top Justice Department officials, including Clemmie and then FBI Director Robert Mueller who threatened to resign after the Bush administration tried to bring back the National Security Agency's domestic surveillance program that the organization found illegal. Mueller is now serving as a special prosecutor leading an independent probe into the Trump campaign's ties to Russia, which now reportedly includes investigating Donald Trump Jr., who met with a Russian lawyer seeking opposition research during the campaign. Following his service at the Justice Department, which ended in 2005, Ray went back to private practice and specialized in white-collar investigations. He is now a partner at the law firm King & Spalding, and he represented Governor Chris Christie of New Jersey during the Bridgegate trial in which two of the governor's former aides were found guilty of scheming to shut down gates on the George Washington Bridge to retaliate against a Democratic mayor. Throughout his career in private practice, Ray also defended Fortune 100 companies embroiled in various investigations. Ray donated thousands of dollars to exclusively Republican candidates throughout his career, and he now works closely with Bobby Birchfield, Trump's ethics advisor.